elsewhere. Although Killer B was thought to have been captured by Sasuke, he had managed to safely escape the Akatsuki using substitution jutsu. Unaware of this, his elder brother, the Raikage, became furious and made preparations to hold a Five Kage Summit. Meanwhile, in the Hidden Leaf, the hardliner Danzo Shimura was installed as the Hokage in place of Tsunade, who had been wounded during Pain's assault. Danzo hoped to use the summit to solidify his path to becoming the Hokage. Amid clashing views, the summit grew heated. Suddenly, the Taka launched an assault led by Sasuke. The highest priority target on Sasuke's quest for revenge was none other than the Hokage Danzo. But before Sasuke could strike, the Raikage blocked his path and drew him into combat. You, enemy of B, my brother! I, the Raikage, will finish you personally! I only want Danzo. Everything else will destroy. Kid, I'm gonna teach you the fear of true fury! Let me give you a taste of total defeat! Get out of my way. Shidori, I'll cover for you, but you better be careful. Ready to go! Should I do it? Come on, Tidus! You won't get over from here! Too slow. Right here! Right here! Should I do it? Ready to go! You won't get away! Nimble little... Gotcha. You're more stubborn than I thought. Chidori, I'll end you soon. Now if you're... no one defeats the right target. Time to end this. I'm amazed you've done this well. <laughs> Dead. The five Kage can't hope to stop me. The Uchiha are above that. Hm. You that take felt them. great. Hm. Playtime's over. It's time to finish you off. With Sasuke on the attack and the Raikage on defense, a life-or-death battle erupted. Don't underestimate the Raikage! But Gara, the Kazakage, intervened in the mayhem.
he called on Sasuke, his one-time rival during the tuning exams, to stop fighting. The hatred that consumed him had turned his heart cold, just as Gara's heart had been. Do not let hatred chase you into a world of solitude, or you will never return. I walk in darkness. I don't intend to listen to you. With tears, Gara accepted that his responsibility as Kazekage was to eliminate Sasuke. Personal experience that living for revenge won't solve anything. Do not let hatred chase you into a world of solitude, or you will never return. So, if I were to return, what is there for me on your side? Gara, it's useless. If he could be convinced, Naruto wouldn't have failed. The moment he attacked the summit, he became an international criminal. He's got no future anymore, anyway. Sasuke, you're alive with me. You've been living in this world of darkness. That's why even a tiny ray of light ought to reach your eyes. Your hatred is far from equaling mine! My rage! Yes. My despair! It surpass yours! Right here! You! <laughs> You were a rather impressive boy, but it ends here. I've got no grudge against you, but many ninjas seek your death. Goodbye. <gasps> Particle style, atomic dismantling jutsu! Sasuke, wounded and in danger, Toby burst onto the scene and saved him. Toby disclosed his Tsuki no Me plan to the Kages. His goal was to revive Ten Tails, the combined form of the Tailed Beasts, and serve as its Jinchuriki. He planned to use such tremendous chakra to cast Genjutsu on the moon to spread infinite Tsukuyomi across the entire world. Toby's ambition was to use Genjutsu to create a world without strife. He demanded the release of the remaining eight tails and nine tails, but the Kages refused. I may not have strength, but I do have the powers of the Tail Beasts. You have no chance of winning. We won't abandon hope. <laughs> Very well. With the summit ending in failure, Toby declared the start of the Fourth Great Ninja War.
Although Donzo had withdrawn from the summit, Toby drew him into an unavoidable confrontation with Sasuke. Sasuke seethed with murderous intent. Seemingly trapped, Donzo audaciously declared that he would take Sasuke's eye. nature of ninja is darkness. Since you do not understand that, you'll fall here. You Before I finish you off, there's one thing I want to ask you. Is it true that it was on your orders that Itachi Uchiha slaughtered my clan? I didn't think he was that kind of man, Itachi. He told you everything with his dying breath, didn't he? It seems you alone really were special. So it is true. <laughs> Self-sacrifice. That is the essence of ninja. Never to see the light of day, but rather to serve the shadow. It isn't just detaching. Many ninja have died just so. It is thanks to them that peace has been maintained. Take me touch it. By revealing his secret to you, finally truly betrayed the leaf. Do not speak further of Itachi. I'm amazed you've done this well. Take this! this! How can this be? Do you understand? My despair will swallow even your darkness. Now that's battling with your eyes. Do not mock the Uchiha. This will be a battle fought with the eyes. I will not fall. I am a reformer. I will not permit anyone to halt my progress. For the sake of the ninja world, I will press forward. One down, big brother. Without wavering, he claimed his revenge against the Hokage.
Sakura rushed to the scene. Unable to restrain Sasuke, she found herself in the path of a blow filled with malevolent intent. But Naruto intervened in the nick of time. Just a little more and I'll know the answer. I feel it. I'll find the answer. In this fight. I'll crush you. I don't know if he was lying. It doesn't matter. You've been doing... I get it. Rasengan! What do you possibly understand? What do you, with no parents or siblings, possibly know about it? Why don't you just shut up? Let her go. I will destroy you. Bond was severed long ago. Stop acting like my... My hatred will never end, until I crush the leaf! I will take all your hatred! Are you too slow? I'm going to protect the bond between us! Fire stop! Fireball! I can still... You know, Sasuke. You and I. Our roles could have been reversed. Rasengan! Chidori! And so, Naruto and Sasuke met again, this time as first-class ninja. In that brief moment, they communicated their feelings wordlessly. I had nothing, but I built bonds. And then in our missions as Team 7, I kept chasing after you. I wanted to be like you. So, Sasuke, I've never said it before, but... I'm happy. Happy I knew you. Sasuke was entirely unmoved. What do you want? Why are you so obsessed with me? Because we're friends. Fine. I'll kill you first. I haven't proven myself to you yet.
declaring his intention to annihilate everyone from the Hidden Leaf, including Naruto, he vanished along with Tobi. In response to Toby's declaration of war, the five great nations formed the world's first ever allied shinobi forces. In order to protect the Jinchuriki, Naruto, and Killer B, it was decided that they would be sent to an island near the Hidden Cloud Village. The two Jinchuriki made fast friends, and Naruto learned how to control a tailed beast from Killer Bee. To control a tailed beast, a Jinchuriki must use their human chakra to seize the spirit chakra. However, the risk that the Jinchuriki's chakra will be taken instead makes it a dangerous gamble. you know, but he's strong as ever, a formidable foe. Reducing his strength is your first priority. Otherwise, you can't take his top, you see. What? I'll distract him from the eight-tailed tootsie soul. When I get the word, look for your chance, yo. Nine-tailed attack is quite shocking, but by summoning my octa beast, we can stop it. Call me if you need help with the fight. I'll back you up like a pro, all right? The idea is uttered in my eyes you're nothing but a puny ass you strong nine tails don't let him push you around you fool you fool i have no way what did i teach you Nice. 
Naruto tried to control Nine Tails' chakra. But under the influence of the hateful spirit, he was almost overcome by its malevolent voice. Just then, Someone special appeared to strengthen his resolve. You stay here. Don't go anywhere. Naruto. To meet you for so long, you know? Mom? included my chakra in the ceiling jutsu, so I'd appear when you tried to control the Ninetales. So that I couldn't lend you a hand. What is it? Is there something on my face? I... I was thinking about how lucky I am to have such a beautiful mom. Oh, <laughs> well thank you. You have your father's hair, but I'm sorry you got stuck with my face, Naruto. Why? I got my good looks from you, right? 
I even wish I'd gotten your straight red hair. It's totally awesome. <laughs> that makes you the second man who has complimented my red hair. Yeah? So who's the first? Who do you think? Your father, of course. Hey, hey, there's something I've always wanted to ask you. How did you and Dad fall in love? When we first met, your father Minato and I were both still little kids. I have a slightly special chakra, and I was kidnapped by the Hidden Cloud Village because of it. But I knew I had to do something in order to leave behind a trail while I was being led away. I snipped off and dropped strands of my hair, carefully, so the enemy wouldn't notice. The Hidden Leaf Village immediately put together search parties, but they had a hard time finding me. We were almost to the border, and I thought that I was done for. But then... Was that when... Yep, Minato was the one who rushed to my side and rescued me. He was the only one to notice the strands of my red hair. He told me it was because my hair is so pretty. The red hair that I had always hated had brought me the man of my dreams. My hair became my red thread of destiny. After that, I grew to like my hair, and more importantly, fell in love with Minato. There are certain words I only bestow on the men who compliment my hair. Will you accept them? Naruto, I love you. Emboldened by his mother's love, Naruto freed himself from the malevolent voice and took aim at Nine Tails once again. I'm overflowing with power! Now's my chance! I'm ready! I'll win this fight! Now 
Now's the time to attack, you know. Me? Losing ground to him? Ninetales! There's no way you can stop me! Why you? I'll stop him. Now! Get him! You will do this to me. Once Nine Tails had been tamed, Kushina apologized to her son for making him a Jinchuriki. Naruto, however, expressed his gratitude. He was happy. Because he knew that his parents truly loved him, he was proud to be their son. Minato, are you listening? Did reach our boy. Naruto! Thank you for letting me become a mother. And thank you for letting Minato become a father. Thank you so, so much. For being born. To us. I am Naruto Uzumaki, Leaf Ninja. My dream is to become Hokage. And to surpass all other Hokage. To become an even cooler guy than Dad. And an even more powerful ninja than you, Mom.
the fourth great ninja war began. Allied shinobi forces clashed with powerful reanimated warriors in a horrific battle between the living and the dead. Naruto could sense the war even without being notified, and, together with Killer B, quickly departed their sanctuary. Harnessing the tailed beast power in Nine Tails Chakra Mode, he set out for the battlefield along with Killer B. Before they could arrive, the Raikage A and Tsunade appeared in order to block their path. We're here to stop you! We can't let you go any further! If you insist upon trying to go, then right here, I will destroy you! I've got a lot up my sleeve. I'm gonna win this battle for sure. You no, won't get away. You gotta let Naruto pass by, see? I'll bounce for his safety myself, mostly. What do you say? This battle is to protect you two. If you were captured, it would mean the end of the world. Iruka Sensei told me. Then why are you heading toward the battle? Are you that stupid? I can't bear the thought of everyone suffering for that. Even if we win, if everyone's dead besides me, then what's the point? I don't want that. You're right. Being in Chiriki, your lives are not just your own. You're the power balance of the country, the strength of the village. You're special to them. You can't just do whatever you please. Know your places, you colossal idiots! My spirit, they won't ever give up on my individuality, son! If I lose that, I'm nothing but a weapon! <laughs> I've been chilling on the sidelines! Hey, you won't get a weapon! Too weak! There'll be some bullets! I've been chilling on the sidelines! You won't get a weapon! How could I be? When I harnessed the power of Nine Tails, my dad let me meet my mom. He left Chakra behind so that when the Nine Tails seal was opened, my mom could come see me, you know? It was only for a moment, but the two of them gave me something. Something so big that they made me believe I could do it. So I won't fail. Naruto had inherited skills from his parents. So too had Killer B inherited skills from A. They knew they could not lose as long as they retained those things. They boldly declared this to A. Let's go! A threw a punch toward Naruto at full force, but Naruto evaded it with an impressive dodge. That technique, known as Yellow Flash of the Leaf, brought to mind his father, Minato. Having passed the test, A allowed them to join the war.
Having persuaded the Raikage, Naruto and Killer B set out for the battlefield once more. On the way, they came across two unexpected figures. Nagato, who had tormented Naruto with the Six Paths of Pain, and Sasuke's elder brother, Itachi. Both of them had been reanimated by Kabuto. Hmm. Summoning Jutsu! Itachi was released from his reanimated state through Koto Amatsukami, a genjutsu of the highest caliber which had once been stored in Naruto. Nagato, under the control of Kabuto, attacked Naruto and Killer B with the power of Renegon. With Itachi now on their side, they engaged Nagato in combat. How dare you force me to fight him! He's back to full power. Naruto! Too dangerous like this. You better defeat me! Quickly! Yes, no kidding. You'll be flat bullet! I'm taking some distance. I'm taking some distance. I'm in general of Naruto's moon god fight. He'll put you out for the night. I'm gonna seal you now. Watch me carefully. I know you can do this. Here we go. Check her up. This is... Good. Sorry about all this. Just before being sealed, Nagato regained his senses, promising to watch over Naruto's story. He declared it would become a great masterpiece. I'll put a stop to this war on my own. On your own? No matter how strong you get, don't ever try to take it all on alone. If you do, you're guaranteed to fail. Simply becoming Hokage won't make everyone accept you. Everyone's acceptance is what gets you there. Never forget your friends. In the meantime, Gara and the Chuchikage had gained the upper hand in a fight against Kages from the past.
But a new shinobi who had been reanimated turned the tide against them. It was Madara, the man known as the legend of the Uchiha. The renowned ninja's overwhelming power devastated the allied shinobi forces. I fought him before. I'm the perfect match for him. No, that won't do. The ninja world depends on this battle. I'm fighting too. And so am I! <laughs> Normally I tell you to butt out, but with him as an opponent, I'll make an exception. Kazekage! Naruto! We're stopping him! Oh! It's you, the Great Fence City. I thought you learned long ago what to tell him. You think I haven't changed since then? You'd be greatly mistaken! I will defeat you and pick myself up. I will smash you into little pieces all over again. Don't underestimate the Sujikage! Right, here we go! Come on me! Right! The world does not need to move any more than it has. It simply needs to sleep. Sajor! Massive for Sajor Mega Barrage! You're the one who will sleep. Victory is out of the question. This is entertaining. Well, no, until I try. The future is not for you. It's for us who live in the here and now. Victory belongs to the Allied Shinobi forces. <laughs> 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 Cannot be. Don't get your hopes up, old man. Earth style, super lightened boulder jutsu. This is thanks for entertaining me. I shall blow you clean away! But against Madara's unimaginable might, Naruto, Gara, and the Chuchikagi Onoki were all pushed to their limits. Tsunade and the Raikage stormed in to lend their support, once again uniting all five Kage on a single battlefield. Leave this Madara to us. We'll settle this quickly. I'll leave the other Madara to you as a step toward hope for the future. We will protect you on this battlefield. 
So you go to the other side and fight to protect us! Naruto, this is our message to you. Victory is ours! The ninja villages, once separate, now join together in an alliance. This may lead to an end to the chaos and hatred of the ninja world. Entrusting Naruto with the fight against Tobi, the five Kage faced off against Madara. Using his Renegon Jutsu to control reanimated Jinchuriki, Tobi prepared for battle. Sent by the five Kage, Naruto and Killer B encountered Tobi and steeled themselves for battle. And I'm gonna enjoy ripping that mask off of you! To remove this mask, you will have to break bones. Yo, stop both of you, Madabas! Come here, what do you mean? Oh, oh. This guy's the only Madaba, right? Right? The real Madara appeared on another battlefield. Which means you're a fake. Tell me, who are you? I am no one. I've been chilling on the And I don't want to be out. All that matters now is that Project Tsukinome succeeds. There is but no reason to accept this game's world. You, Chief Chief, were forced to host the Tale of Beasts and have only known despair. Or am I mistaken? I am certain that you all have some understanding of the despair of which I speak. Don't assume being bonded to a tail beast is a bad thing. Even in this world, you say is useless. That I am no one garbage is not gonna cut it when you start a freaking war. Even if you change that ugly mask, use a bunch of fake names, and keep trying to feed us your lies. Let's go, B! No problem, yo! Blow him away! Eight tails, that be me, the rapid killer bee. Ooh wee! Tail bees, eight twists. Go. Just as they were about to counterattack. Toby forced three of the Jinchuriki to fully transform and begin a ferocious assault. You're done. Super Leap Adamantine Hurricane! Even under the overwhelming onslaught, Naruto managed to communicate with the beast known as Four Tails. The beast revealed to Naruto that Nine Tails' true name was Kuruma, which made Naruto deeply desire friendship. Naruto's greatest desire was to befriend the Tailed Beasts. I'm 
gonna take care of that hatred in you someday. This softened Kurama's heart and heart, and convinced him to cooperate. You're not a demon fox anymore. You're my partner. Anyway, let's get going. As the battle intensified, Naruto directly addressed the tailed beasts and Jinchuriki under Tobi's control. They revealed their names to him and entrusted him with the future relationship between humans and tailed beasts. Honoring their trust, Naruto successfully released them from the Jinchuriki. Slowly but surely, his growth began to exceed Tobi's expectations. Tobi began to fear that his plans were unwinding. As the battle with Tobi unfolded, Sasuke, who had awakened his eternal Mangekio Sharingan, set out for the battlefield. Along the way, he happened upon Itachi, who had been reanimated. He was on his way to Kabuto's hideout to put a stop to the chaos that his reanimation was causing. Sasuke poured out his feelings to the brother he had long thought to be dead. Itachi was sparing in his response. The two brothers soon found themselves squaring off against Kabuto together. Kabuto had injected Orichimaru's cells into himself in the hopes of surpassing his former master's power. Appalled by Kabuto's transformation, Sasuke braced himself for the battle with Itachi at his side. Itachi... You always told me later, and next time, and then you died. So this time... I'll make sure you keep that promise. 
Right. Go on. Tremble before my power. The power of a sage. I can't believe you got the power of sage mode. As I recall, you hated each other. And now you plan to fight me side by side. Interesting. Fire Over stop. here, Fire. I've gained perfect power. Let's see how long you last against me. Over here. It's about time. Right here. Is this it? All you've done is implant Orochimaru's leftovers. You're worse than the original. <laughs> Did you think that this was the full extent of my powers? A very don't bother! Oh, yeah. All right. Over here. Take this. Over here. Right here. Over here. Right here. Take this. It's about time. Take, take this. First off, oh, 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 oh. undo the reanimation. Don't overdo it. He seems to have acquired Orochimaru's power. He won't die so easily. Having knowledge of snakes is not enough to defeat me. Well done. But I have been perfected in a little wound like this. Ugh. Is nothing to me. The impressive powers of recovery. What now? Leave it to me. I'll trap him with a visual jutsu. A visual jutsu? What are you? <laughs> you don't really have time to talk, you know. Sage art, inorganic reanimation! That's... My sensory abilities are superior to what they were. No. What a wonderful situation. <laughs> hmm. Sage Art, white extreme attack! <clears throat> a jutsu that freezes movement with light. Sound and vibration. I was prepared for it, and I can move freely. Now I'll just. <laughs> huh? How did you manage that? I can read your movements. Now I'll control you. Control. Is this the visual jutsu you are talking about? What are you trying to do? The ultimate visual jutsu. One that controls his fate. Hmm. Nonsense. He's a nummy! <laughs> you seem to be planning something, but nothing you do can affect me now. 
I have every ability there is. No one can touch me. Sasuke, stay close to me. Itachi, I assume you're here to look the animation. But unfortunately, things won't go your way. Because... If you think you've become a god, controlling life and death, you're very much a You think this jutsu is perfect, but it has a weakness. Does it really? That's very interesting. Would you mind telling me what it is for future reference? Let me speak it as one more to me. No matter how hard you fight, it won't work on me. I'm perfection itself! Since you don't know the true power of Uchiha, nothing you say means anything. Isn't Izanami ready yet? I am preparing it, but I need a little more time. Amaterasu, over here! Let me fight. Burn out. Let me fight. Over here. style flame control! Over here. Let me fight. Inferno style flame control. Let me fight. Inferno style flame control. Darkness hounded your brother to his doom. You can't forget that. I know exactly how you feel. I'm the same way. I understand you. Don't listen to him, Sasuke. He's an even better liar than I am. Besides, no matter what darkness the village holds, I am Itachi Uchiha of the Hidden Leaf. What's the matter? 
I know the Uchiha are not strong. It's getting dark. Is this going to work? Stay calm. We're about to make a comeback. <laughs> Over. Let me. This battle is all but decided. You lose, Kamato. Inferno style flame control. Not yet. I have Lord Orochimaru's power. As I have said, I can read your movements. Now I'll begin Izanami. And I told you that everything was under my control. You're no exception! Sasuke, stay close to me. Well, deja vu. And I'm sick of it! Sasuke, stay close to me. What? What is this? You've fallen prey to my visual jutsu. Impossible. I am perfect. I could never... Don't you see? You're nowhere near perfect. He can't escape from this loop. This is Izanami, the jutsu that determines fate. I can finally see... the end. Father. Mother. We parted ways long ago. But now... Those who cannot accept themselves are doomed to fail. Those such as Kabuto. And my own past self. Yes, what Kabuto is doing now is a mistake. However, to condemn him alone is also a grave mistake. I pray that, unlike myself, he realizes this before death claims him. Tsukuyomi. After subduing Kabuto, Itachi had him perform the seals to dispel the reanimation jutsu. As Itachi began to dissolve, Sasuke said that he could never forgive the hidden leaf for what it did to him. He explained that although he understood Itachi's wishes, he must still destroy the village that Itachi once protected.
No matter what you become, I will always love you. Itachi had freed the allied shinobi forces from the scourge of the reanimation jutsu. Released from the bondage of the forbidden jutsu, the souls of the dead ascended one after another. However, by exploiting a secret allowing a deceased person to dispel reanimation if they knew the seal, Madara alone remained. Elsewhere, Tobi had been working to revive Ten Tails in order to cast infinite Tsukuyomi. If he succeeded, it would mean the end of the world. To thwart Tobi's scheme, Naruto unleashed a ferocious assault together with Kakashi and Might Guy. The world no longer needs hope, a future, or any famous heroes. I had a dad, a mom, an old man sage. Kids look up to heroes. I'm gonna become the best Tokage there's ever been. That's my dream, you idiot. Good, I finally made this far. You know Vermin. I can now begin the infinite Tsukuyomi. In other words, now the world has come to an end. Just wait. I shall take you all into an infinite dream before you know what to do. We'll sleep when we feel like it. And when we do, we'll dream as much as we want. I don't need your help to fall asleep. <laughs> I'll hit you! Seek with me, Kurama! Now beast, planetary, Rasen Shuriken! He is really strong. What should we do, Kakashi? His transportation technique is similar to mine. This is still just a hypothesis, but his jutsu may be the same as my Kamui. What? If my hypothesis is right, and we're using the same jutsu, then our eyes must be the same. Which means... <laughs>
the three of them were able to destroy Toby's mask with a coordinated attack. This is it! Who are you? Seeing Toby's true identity left Kakashi deeply shaken. Obito, is it really you? If you survived, then why didn't you? My survival doesn't matter now. But if you truly want a reason... Because you let Rain die. It was Obito Uchiha, Kakashi's former friend, who was believed to be dead. <laughs>